This question is asking us to draw the velocity time graph and find the total distance the car traveled in 10 seconds. First, we need to write down the equations for each segment of the acceleration time graph. For the section between 0 to 6 seconds, we have a is equal to 1 over 6 t squared. The section between 6 and 10 seconds is simply a equals 6. Now, we need a relationship between acceleration and velocity, which we know as a is equal to dv over dt. We can also write it as dv is equal to a dt. If we integrate this equation, then we can get the velocity. Since the car starts from rest at a time of zero, those will be our lower bounds for our integral. Solving gives us our velocity equation. Let's figure out the velocity of the car at six seconds. Substituting six seconds into our equation gives us 12 meters per second. We will use this velocity and a time of six seconds to figure out the equation for the next segment. Let's write down our integral. Remember that our lower bounds are 12 meters per second and six seconds. When we solve it, we get our velocity equation for the next segment. To make drawing our graph easier, let's figure out the velocity of the car at 10 seconds. Substituting 10 seconds into this equation gives us 36 meters per second. The graph looks like this. Now we need to find the total distance the car traveled. To do so, we need a relationship between our velocity equations and displacement. We know that velocity is equal to the derivative of displacement with respect to time, which we can also write as ds is equal to v dt. As before, we need to integrate this equation to get the displacement. The lower bounds for our integral are zero meters and zero seconds, since the car starts from the origin at a time of zero. Solving our integral gives us the displacement equation for the first segment. Now we need to know how far the car traveled in six seconds. So let's substitute and find out, which gives us 18 meters. We can use that as our lower bounds for the next integral. Solving this integral gives us the displacement equation. The question asks us to find the total distance traveled by the car. So we just need to substitute a value of 10 seconds into our displacement equation. The car traveled 114 meters in 10 seconds. If you have any questions, or if there are ways to improve these videos, please let us know. Thanks for watching, and if this helped you, please give us a like.